There, oh boy, that's a big oh. fish. Big fish. Welcome to Fishing with Latin with Latin Langman and co-host Steve Ronholt. You can buy that expensive tackle that you think that you might need. You can head out for the river and hope you might succeed. But if you want to fish just right, just turn your TV on. Come on, fish with Latin, he'll get your fishing on. Yeah, come on, fish with Latin, and you'll have some fun. Catch some fly in Alaska. On the wild Yukon, or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here on the Beaverhead River in Montana. We fished this river before. We know there's some nice fish in here. We caught a beautiful fall day. Stick around, I think it'll be a great show. We were enjoying a beautiful fall day in Montana when I hooked into the first fish of the day. There it is, little guy. Awesome. It's a little brown, a little brown trout. Ay, ay, ay. That's how not to net a fish. There we go. It's in the net. Okay. Nice fish. Not gonna pretend it's huge, but a fun, fun brown trout. There she goes. Caught a beautiful morning here in Montana. It's a little bit chilly, but hey, caught a fish. Beautiful scenery, having a great time. Steve and I hiked up river in search of new water. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Although the fish was not large, it was putting up quite a battle. Another brown. And this one's gotta be at least eight inches. <laughs> <laughs> but a beautiful fish, nonetheless. Yeah, no doubt. Look at that colors. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Caught a couple small fish in here, but one rose that had to be three or four pounds just right there just came up and smashed the surface. So what that means for me, I don't know. Might have to switch to a dry fly here in a bit. But meanwhile, I'm gonna keep plugging away with this because it's pretty, been pretty effective. As you get older, it gets tougher to see these little flies and leaders. So you wanna get a good pair of cheater glasses and uh, they really help you see a lot better. There's one. All right, that's, yeah, that's a, a nice good fish one too. too. Wow. It's a really good fish. Oh, awesome. Let me get this in. Is that on the nymph, Steve? Yeah. Wow, that's a big one. Yeah. That's kind of what we're going after. Yeah, here that's this. what we want. <laughs> wow. It's fighting like a brown or a rainbow. Yeah, I can see him flashing. Yeah, that that's in there. a brown. That's a mongo brown. That is. That's a nice trout. I'd net him for you, but I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, is it a white fish? I think it's a white I fish. I think it is too. It's a mongo white fish. <laughs> and it's snagged. A snag. <laughs> white fish. We got all excited for okay. a snag. Snagged white fish. Boy, it doesn't look like a white fish when it's swimming out there. But... <laughs> oh, shoot. That's a nice white fish. It is. It's a monster. Oh. Ready? Look at that thing. Very that nice. It's a nice <laughs> white fish. Yeah, good fight. A little disappointing there wasn't a brown trout, but a little what disappointing the heck? that it was a snag. <laughs> yeah. Lots of disappointment, but it, that was a big fish. And... Yep. We know there's browns in there. Yes, we You've do. been catching them down there, so yep. hopefully. 
Ah, we'll get we'll keep plugging. Yep. Sounds good. These cheaters are great. There's All the right. one. Woo! That's not a white fish. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that's a jumping deal yeah. there. Little guy that's wild. <laughs> Steve brought the fish toward the net. That was on the emerger, blue-winged olive emerger. Nice little beautifully colored brown trout. We know there's some bigger ones out there. There's one, that's a decent oh, fish. Nice jump. Yeah. Ah, nice fish. Yeah, it's my best fish of the day. Yeah. Oh, nice. Good jump. I love the way these browns jump. Yeah. Come on, baby. Awesome. Yeah. That's a nice little brown trout. Good jumper. Love it. Very cool. Yeah, awesome job. Yeah, I think the blue-winged olive hatch is at least starting, yeah. so they're starting to get active and yeah. caught quite a few fish here in the last hour. So hopefully yeah. it'll pick up even more. Yeah. Wow, gorgeous day. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> like the... I'd like to tell you it was a really big one, but, oh, good heavens. Two brown trout, one big one chasing it. Wow. Wow, that was awesome. Hmm. Well, I thought you had a big one on there. Nope. Nope, I have a little one being chased by big ones. Oh, did you see that thing sip? Yeah, there is. Holy cow. Got him. I think it's a pretty decent fish, but... Lad, might have a good one. It looks like a good one. Steve chased the big fish downstream. If you can help, that might be good. Might need it. It's a big fish. I think it's a brown. Ah! Oh. Shoot! That was. Wow! What Shoot. a bummer! Huh. That was a nice trout. Oh, it was a brown. It was a brown. I, I'm sure it wasn't a white fish. Wow. Either brown or a rainbow. And Darn I'm, it! Pretty sure it was On a big brown. On the nymph. I don't yeah. know which one. Shoot. <sighs> That's painful. That's painful. Did you see, you didn't see it go scurrying across there? No, I just, saw, I just saw your rod. It was like, going down that way, going down that way, and then it just back up that way. Wow. Awesome. Yep. Steve was upstream sight fishing to a couple big browns. And I was casting toward the far bank, and then I hooked a fish. Oh boy! Nice! Oh boy! Oh. My gosh! Awesome! That is a jumper! Holy smokes! Whew! Wow, it's a good one. There's one up there. Uh -huh. Two of them rising, starting to sip. Oh wow! I'm gonna switch to a dry or a merger or something. Awesome! Here we go. Yeah. Steve tied on this loop knot here to this fly and it's really helped. Um, it gives the fly action. So when you're fishing streamers, that's a good way to go. Standard loop knot. Yeah, I don't know if you could see it, but man, that thing just rocketed. On just the streamer, Three or four huh? times. Yeah, on nice. the streamer. Yeah, were you stripping or was it dri uh, drifting? I was kind of dead drifting it and stripping it slowly. Gosh, that might work up there too. Yeah, that was awesome. Absolute. Gorgeous brown. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Swimming off. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that was that was really cool. And I know the camera didn't pick it up because um, Clint was upstream with you, but right. that thing I just got and it jumped us like several times. I saw it tail wag wow. when I was running down here. Yeah. Really was, nice. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Now, there's some big fish in here. Yeah. Up uh, there I can see two of them feeding and they're wow. about the same size. Okay. And a couple of them have come up for dries, but they're they're okay. right in there feeding on blue winged dollars. So All right. I'm well, gonna go put after a dry those. On. Go yeah. after those. I'm gonna stay down here and work that streamer. Okay. Somewhere. Sounds good. All right. This is a fly I caught it on. It's called the Zonker and it's a streamer. Kinda like this fly right now. Tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. That looks good. Really good. If we're going fish for fish like Pat and I have been doing, you'd think that, oh, Pat's not fishing right now. In essence, he's actually stood up there and pointed out a couple fish. Now, it could be annoying because I might not catch that fish, but at the same time, Pat is definitely in the game going, oh, fish rose downstream from you, fish feeding. You can definitely still help by spotting fish and, and just being the extra eyes up a little bit higher off the water. Oh, was that a... Oh, that was just so perfect, that went right over him. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely should. Oh, oh, big fish, big brown. All right. Need some help. <laughs> Whoa. That's awesome. Got another big one? Big one. Awesome. Are you stripping it again? Or uh, stripping it. It's a big rainbow. Man. Wow. That's a big a fish. Okay. It is a big fish. I think it's a rainbow. Yep. Ready, Steve? I'm ready. Here it comes. I'm gonna try to pull it right to you. Big rainbow. Big rainbow. Yeah. Nice. Oh, holy. Wow. <laughs> what a fish. What a wow. fish. Wow. <laughs> that is a hog. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a fish. What a fish. Oh boy. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was a beautiful big rainbow. Well, you just kept after it. I mean, you've been yeah. fishing here for half an hour, mm -hmm. maybe an hour with I've, that streamer. I've been through that spot probably five, six times, just that same area. Awesome. And you, are yeah. you just like casting to the other shore and then stripping it towards you? Or? Yeah, you know, I was pretty much just casting, doing a slow strip, but then all of a sudden uh, Clint said, hey, should we move? Or, so I decided to strip a little faster ah. and I think I owe that one to Clint. Yeah. I was just trying to get it in. So. All right. Well, Good do we fish. do we stay and see if there's more, or do we hit another section of water? Do you think? I think uh, this has been good to us. I think we move on. Okay. Up. Yeah, we've caught three nice fish. I didn't land mine, but mm -hmm. you landed yours, and yeah. So hit another head hole. out. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. I've been just gradually working my way down this bank, uh, casting right toward the bank as close as I get, and then just slowly stripping back. And I've been doing that probably for the last hour, and it's been paying off. Looks like a good spot, Laden. Yeah. What do, you think? what do you think for the nymph? Try the nymph through Yeah, here. I think so. Okay. I mean, it looks, there's a nice riffle into a deep spot there. Okay. And I'll head down here with a slower water and use a streamer. Sounds good. Let's okay. do it. I fired off a cast toward the far bank. Yeah. Oh, baby. This is a good one. Oh! Yeah. Oh boy, big fish, dude. All right, nice. Oh, it's a big brownie, I can see it. Oh. Wow, what a gorgeous fish. No doubt. Oh wow. yeah, wow. <laughs> Woo, man. Awesome. That was on the, the top, the betas, yeah. right? Or uh, yeah. whatever, blue winged olive, yeah. Drought. Yeah. Man, look at the spots. Mm -hmm. Isn't that beautiful? I think yes, it's nice. It look at it. 
Nice fish. Oh yeah. man, nice fish. Yeah, that's awesome. Beautiful brown trout. Is it, was it was right around the bushes there? Yeah, right, right yeah. in front of that bush. That's right where, that's where I hooked that big one earlier oh, wow. too. And those, there were some nice big ones feeding in there. It's a great spot. Yeah. It's on that blue winged olive nymph. Yeah. That we've been using that thing all day long. It's been a great go-to fly. Yeah, awesome. Good Thank job. Thank you. Thanks. As evening approached, we continued our quest for Montana trout. Got one, got one. Nice right. fish. Nice job, Steve. Boy, Woo. he's taking out line like crazy. Stripping the streamer. He pounded it. Is that that zonker? <laughs> yeah, the zonker, the gold zonker. That was cool. Yep. Cool take. Yeah, I was just pretty much casting downstream. I let it swing below me. Uh -huh. Did a couple of the strips, you know, like the guy told us at the fly oh, yeah. shop this morning, and wham, he hit cool. it. There he goes. Oh boy. Holy smoke. Oh, wow, look at that thing go. Gosh, I'd hate to see what a 23 incher fight's like. Wow. No, it's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. Wow, that's cool. Good, good fighting fish. Wow. Nice. Good job. Woo. Cool. Beautiful rainbow. Yeah, it is. Very nice. Boy, that was a good hit. As soon as this fish hit, it took off running. Good 16, 17 inch rainbow, maybe. Nice. Oh boy, that was a nice trout. Yeah, it was. That was awesome. Very cool. Hitting on the streamer. I was upstream casting down uh -huh. and across and kind of let it swing and then give a little bit of a slower strip and it was it hit it hard okay i'm gonna try that okay oh, oh god <laughs> could i have set that hook any harder yeah good heavens that thing they, that thing just hammered it. no setting the hook ah Steel heading. I, I, I didn't even set the hook. I didn't do anything. It just pulled line right out. We moved downstream. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh right. darn it. Oh. That was a good one. Uh no strike indicator? I I am not. Here's the fish. Oh mm, nice. You want to check that hook and see if you got a hook on there still? Do you have two split shots on there? I took one off. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, there she is. Awesome. Oh, boy. That's a jumping machine. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's not a big fish. He just thinks he's huge. Yeah, it's a nice fish. I'm never awesome. not complaining. I'm not complaining. Oh yeah, that's a nice brown. Yeah. Well, maybe you can net it since you're right here. Oh yeah, that's a nice trout. Yeah, that All was All right, fun. good job. Thank you. A nice brown right here, beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. There she goes. All right, man, that was a heck of a fight. That thing fight. Yeah, that was really cool. I could see it all the way from down there, jumping out of the water. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That was that, a fun that fish. Was about the same size as the other ones that you hooked, or was that a bigger one, do you um, think? You know, I, the, the biggest one was probably, I think it was a rainbow, and mm. I lost that about 15 minutes ago. So that, I thought that was even bigger than that one, but heck, huh. it's Nice fish. fish. Yeah, it Not was. complaining. Yeah, good job. Thank you. We'll see if we can get a few more before dark, huh? Sounds good. Okay. Let's do it. I'm nymphing without an indicator in this little pool that's only about three feet deep. I've hooked a bunch of fish, finally caught one, pretty excited about it. This is a fly I caught it on. I'd like to tell you what it is, but I have no idea what it is, and Steve's down river, so. But anyway, I've caught about three or four fish right out of this bucket. I mean, hooked them. Can't say I caught them, because I finally caught one of them. But it's a great spot, I'm gonna keep fishing it. Hopefully I'll catch some more spot I've been fishing. It's just a little bucket below a nice shallow riffle and uh, water slows down pretty good. 
and it's a little deeper and just a really good spot for fish apparently because they are here. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Fish on. It's like good a good one, one again. It's a, it's a better fish. Nice. Looks like a brown again. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Ah. Shoot. That was a good fish. It was a big fish. Good brown. I lost it. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yep. It's a good fish, too. Oh, it looks like a nice yeah. one. Hmm. Yeah, I got a fish just right before dark here. That's good. It's a pretty good fish. Oh, it's a brown. It's a nice. nice brown. Oh yeah, good. Oh yeah, that's a good brown. Ooh. Nice. Woo. Good job. Thank you. Awesome. Here is another gorgeous Montana brown. That's awesome, you know, it's getting dark, but uh, the fish are still biting. So mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a great day of fishing. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please join us next week for more Fishing with Ladin. Let's get out of here, Steve. All right. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Lad, because we're having fun catching fish. <laughs>